Kyron and Jaleesa Brathwaite said the game was created in 2012 after being stuck at home in the U.S. during a storm. We were playing games where the words would be sometimes very American and he would be like, this game is not, <laughs> it's rigged, it's not for me, I can't win. Like, you know, you guys are just beating me, you're killing it. So after a while, I think it started to feel like he was interested in having something that would be more Trini Woods. And so the journey to create their Trimagonian board game began. The game can be described as a combination of games like Taboo, Pictionary and Charades. We went abroad, we went to China to find a manufacturer to create the actual game. For us, we we sourced local talent in Trinidad for like the graphics that you'll see on the box. When that process was complete, the two created a website and began selling the game. Chiron said one challenge is keeping the game up to date as Trinbagonians pen new words often. I think in the beginning of next year, which is 2023, um, we would have a bunch of new words um, to continue the excitement of this game. Um, we recently had an order placed and I guess word is getting out even more than we thought. Um, so we're almost sold out and it doesn't seem like we'll be able to have our next uh, shipment in time for the season. There's no age limit for Trini to say. At the end of the day, this is something that's for family. That's why we kind of keep certain words out of it as much as we would like to. Um, we just want to make sure it's a family affair. And while the idea of having the game virtual has entered their minds, they believe in the importance of having fun in a physical setting. It's so heartwarming to hear all the stories that people will send us saying like, oh my gosh, we just played this with family. My kids are now seeing words that they've never heard before, but it's so fun to like feel like I'm back with my roots and my culture and share that with like their kids who from a different place and don't know this. It's the Brathwaite's hope that their game, which was created to keep them closer to Trinidad and Tobago, would do the same for other families who migrated to other countries so that their younger generations would learn more about their family's culture through words. I'm Mahalia Joseph Wharton and this is See Yourself on TDT News.